no, 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 this is this object here is a jiffy pop. How you make popcorn in America? <laughs> you, uh, it comes like a pie pan. And you put it on the stove and do this to it, and it swells up with the heat. And uh, then, by that, at, at a certain point, all of the kernels inside it pop. And uh, I paint a number of them. Uh, it's a very, very Chardin-esque form, but, but this is a different way of painting than I I ended up painting it differently than this. So I think this is the best way. Um, I tried to paint the, the real uh, light on the, on the texture of, of the city pop. In those pictures, and it never worked with more of this where they're more generalized. Next, a two of them. Next, I started a uh, large painting of, of my of my wife who uh, before we were married. I thought maybe I would do it with a three-quarter view. I did this, and then I did a frontal view. But this, what may be interesting to you is that originally this uh, was all done in a set in one day, I believe. But it started off poorly, so you can see that. I, and then I flipped the canvas over and did it uh, this way, so you can see the top of her head down through the knee. <laughs> That happens several times. If you can, if you can recognize something is not going to work, you can free yourself. Next, this is also one city pain. Next, was this also with the mirror ladder, or was this straight up? Excuse me. Was this also with the mirror? Or was it straight out? Well, oh no, no mirror in this. This is straight, straight. Because I was doing the room diagonally, I had more space. My studio is uh, not the 12 foot studio anymore. Next. This is Stephen Brown. It's, 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 just, uh, it's, it's not like this. There's a lot of space around it. Whoever took the photograph just gave it the detail. Okay. Next. 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 This is Yannette. <laughs> At about five or six years old. Mother's not with her, kind of elder there, make sure she didn't jump off. Focus? Focus, please. Yeah, it's a slide of a slide. It's a slide of a slide of a focus. Well, I'm out of focus. The slide of a slide. Okay. Next. This is Tom Cornell, friend of mine. Uh, it's very clear, very simple uh, surface. I'll tell you uh, if I, I should. Uh, uh, I'll tell you. I'm not hiding out. Uh, there are some pictures I've worked a long time on. Yes, uh, this and this one. Well, they're better if you can get them done in one shot. Okay. Next. This was longer. Three or four things, just for the head. And then, uh, later on, I took the jacket. He's the son of uh, a person that was um, uh, a mentor to me in, in Chicago. I was a student there. 
I mean, he was not a student, but he was, uh, when I went to school in Chicago, everyone was GIs from the war, except for a couple of high school people, which I was one, and so he had four or five years on me. And uh, he was a good influence. Anyway, this is his son. Next. This is the chairman of the department of Brooklyn College at the time, Morris Dorsky. I treated, I, I painted him as if he was on his way to the guillotine. <laughs> And there was another painting underneath it, but I covered it, you know, it wasn't working out, so I covered it with white and painted on top of that. So that's the green sticks around from the other picture. Some people think that's what's good about the picture. Though. Next. Well, he wanted that other picture, but it was sold. So, I told him that I would paint him again uh, for a, a very modest sum. And uh, he kept telling me to stop. That I had, I had, he, think, he thought he had his money's worth. But I, I wanted to do a much more complex thing with the hands and the, the sweater and all. <coughs> And his ego. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on his way to the building to you. Next. At this point, these pictures now I'm painting through a grid. You might be interested that I had a grid made. And uh, it's murder to try to do it, but if you have the uh, patience. It helps. Uh, since then, uh, I think I figured out a way to work without a grid that is better and more direct. It's very hard to paint through a grid because you, you know you, you tend to obliterate the intersections where the lines cross, and then you, it's just difficult. And then he has the model has to return to the exact place. You have to be in the exact place and looking through this grid. And it's very annoying. What's your method? Hmm? What's your new the method you like better? Well, this is uh, uh, this is successful. This is really good likenesses and the, the forms held together. Uh, but uh, I never the, the the solution that I figured out was something I had already lost my sight, so I never really got a chance to do anything. I, I would encourage you to ask me about it someday. Next. <laughs> this is his brother. His brother. Next. This is done from my bridge. Human figure in motion. I uh, squared off a little piece of it and uh, uh, gridded it and started painting. Next. Well, this is all copying photographs. There's nothing to it, really. <laughs> I didn't know. I, while I was doing it, I was wondering why I was doing it. It didn't make any sense to me, but at least it kept me busy. Actually, uh, no background. Designers that I took it back to New York and um, changed the background. So Do you prefer paper carvings as opposed to other kinds of I never ate it. I thought of it so I thought. In the But uh, what I like is that I don't know. The thing that is the yellow page from the telephone book. I used it a couple of times as a motif. <coughs> uh, but the, the, the thing, it's one of the very rare, rare things, times when 
Uh, it goes against everything I ever say about paint, really, that you take the, the background out and put a different one in, but uh, it, it works. Okay, next. <coughs> My mantle is in the studio. Statue, which was bar uh, stolen. Actually. I actually was borrowed from somebody who I never did with that to, so I guess I stole it. And um, I found that uh, I had to uh, do a lot of measuring to get this uh, sculpture to look right. I don't know whether I use a grid or what, but it's not uh, easily done. Next. Chicago people call Bismarcks, these uh, uh, donuts, donuts. Uh, I like to think of them in a sense. Well, it would intrigue me, the, uh, the uh, jelly that comes out in certain places made me think of uh, the, uh, the rabbits in, uh, in Chardin, where the blood is on the nose of the rabbit. Mm -hmm. And uh, trying to paint the kind of uh, wax paper with them. With, um, in the peanut butter pudding. Next. <laughs> Brussels sprouts, like I say, are very patient. They stay a, they stay a lot longer than, say, um, Radishes. The hard things disappear very quickly, but the Brussels sprouts stay for, for several days. <laughs> Next. And this is this is the uh, attempt to paint the Jiffy Pop. I used it as a symbol of the tomb in, in Christian uh, with Christ went to the tomb and, uh, and uh, the hot cross bun is a, is a symbol of Easter in, in America. So the two went together. I shouldn't have put anything else with them actually and then it would have been. Next. Is this clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I thought of the lettuce as kind of a, an Alaska enfante. I mean, it's a conceit on my part, but to help me get to do it. It wasn't going well, so I, I, I looked at it and quartered it. Then I broke, I, I scraped it down and painted it to that. That's what I'm hoping I'm uh, selling to the students here. Scrape your paint down and paint it to that. So that's what happened with this one. Yeah, I think it's a better, one of the better ones. Thank you. Uh, I should say. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> 